known as a midget. A hot springs hot spot tumbles to the ground as a popular skating rink gets demolished. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. It's one of many rinks across the country that closed during the pandemic. Our Claire Kreitz takes a skate down memory lane and talks to those who grew up at the hot springs rink and how they're handling the news. For decades, this floor was filled with kids either doing the bunny hop or seeing YMCA. Now you can see it's filled with insulation as work begins to tear it down. It's a heartbreaking sight for all who spent their childhood here. From the retro music to the sound of skates gliding across the floor. It was really nice to be able to get away and be with my friends and just enjoy music. Carla Herrera remembers the days she spent rolling around skate land in Hot Springs. They would let me come and work and, and put away skates and things to get in for free. It wasn't long before she was sporting the black and white ref uniform. We'd have the whistle and we'd go around and tell people what to do and not to do. For some, it was their first job. For others, it was their first kiss. I was 13, he was 12. And we met here. Taylor Woodall is still with the boy she met on the rink. We were best friends and grew up together and now we're a couple and we have a baby. Now both Herrera and Woodall are watching all those memories come crashing down. It's just crazy seeing everything pulled out and tore down and the sign's not there anymore. It's just like an empty building. For Herrera, she has long since moved away, but every time she visits her family, she would bring her kids to her old stomping ground. To show it to them and remind them, you know, that's where I used to skate and everything. These are them. As Woodall laces up her skates, she realizes she'll never have that chance. It's really sad. Now she's just hoping another one opens up so she can pass on one of the favorite parts of her childhood to her son. I would love it if another skating rink opened. I'd love to bring my kid you know, when he's old enough to skate. Woodall says the rink has been going downhill for years. Last month, a company out of Little Rock bought the property. Reporting in Hot Springs, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Sure, thank you very much.